Hi guys, how are you? So today's video is going to be called How to Use Macros to Benefit Your Trading Routine. All right, let's get into this here. What's a macro, first of all? Macros are used to make a sequence of computing instructions available to the programmer as a single program statement. Basically, what macros do is that they can help you do repeated tasks in a simple keystroke, basically, once you've programmed it, okay? So I will demonstrate you now some macros I've created. The software I use to create macros is this software right here. It's called Pullovers Macro Creator. It's great and it's free and I suggest you download it and support the creator because this is an amazing software right here, okay? So I've created a number of macros that can perform some interesting tasks. One simple macro I created is just one button that opens up a trading view tab on my selected chart. I'll show you a couple of other macros I've created. Um, in trading view, we can use a hotkey as Alt H to create a horizontal line. Now there's no hotkey to delete your horizontal lines or drawing tools. So what I did was I created a macro to figure out where this garbage can icon is and search for the image and immediately click on that image. So whenever I press that hotkey, it will go in and delete all of the horizontal drawing tool lines. So I can create a million of these horizontal lines. And as soon as I press the delete hotkey, they're all gone. I don't have to go and start right clicking on these things or go have to manually find the garbage can to delete them. And that is very interesting. So I've also created a macro to find the extended hours button down here at the bottom, I'm kind of hiding it, but look, you see down, down here, the extended hours button on trading view. And basically whenever I hit the hotkey, it will turn on and off extended hours for whichever chart that I'm clicked on. So if I'm clicked on this chart, it'll do it for that one. If I'm clicked on this chart, it'll do it for that one. Pretty interesting, right? And it works on no matter what window or what monitor you have. And it's actually very easy to set this up and I'm going to show you um, a simple way to do it. Now, I'm not going to guide you through the entire process of how to create these macros because you can easily learn how to do that yourself just by doing a bit of digging. But I will run you through the basic guidelines of how to use this macro creator and the most important commands that are relevant to creating these macros, right? If you go into the macro creator, you want to go into a new and create a new thing. Now over here is where you create new macros. Generally these buttons right here, that's add a macro or close a macro. Now when you have your macro there, these sort of commands right here are the most important things. So the first one you want to learn about is the run. So the run command basically will just run whatever program or uh, link that you program into it. So one macro here that I created, which is run, I just put in the link to my trading view chart, it essentially runs that chart whenever I click that. So that's that's all the macro is press the key, and it goes right to the window I want. Another command you can use is win activate. And this basically you can use this to do a bunch of things win set win activate, uh, win close win maximize all this kind of stuff. But generally I have this one set to win activate, which means that look at this, you can see it's a win activate and it will activate the option chain of my TWS. So whenever I press the, the assorted hockey for that, it will bring up my option chain. Okay. So I can be anywhere. I can be doing something else completely. And I want to see my option chain. I press one button and it's right in front of me. So that's convenient. And from this option chain, then I can drag the contracts into my watch list that I trade through, right? That's the general process. So let's get back to pullover macro software here. Another one that's really interesting is the image search or the pixel search. So basically, if you want it to find a certain image, so I'll, I'll go over the the macro I created to delete the drawing tools. What I did was I put in a image search command and then you click on this button and you're going to be able to make a screenshot of whatever it is you want it to find basically. And you can see there is the image that I wanted it to find the image of the garbage can in trading view. If found, it, I wanted to left click on that thing. Okay. And if not found, well, then you can choose to have it to continue or to not continue or to stop, etc. Right. Another setting here that's important is to adjust the coordinates to the center of the image, although it's not that important, but it does make a difference because sometimes it could miss or, or something like that. So generally, that's a simple image search command. And it makes a lot of sense to do this, especially if you want the program to go and click on a very specific thing. So that's basically that command press Alt G and it goes to find the garbage can and clicks on it. Very simple. Okay. Another macro I've created here. What is this here? Alt E. So again, I used an image search command to find the EXT. And I've created 
two screenshots because there are two versions of the extended hours, one of them where it's black and the other one where it's highlighted blue, depending on if your extended hours is turned on or off in TradingView. So what I did was I put both of them in there and I said, if you don't find the first one, if not found, continue. And then if, it, if it's found, it clicks on it. If it's not found, it will continue to the next process, which is to find, look for this one. So either way, it's gonna look for both of them and find one, okay? So guys, I'm very kind of a noob when it comes to macros, so I'm, I'm not like a monster expert on programming. In fact, I know nothing about programming. I just find this stuff very cool because it's making these processes quite easy for me. This macro is interesting. I created these two macros yesterday. I'm gonna show you what they are in a minute here, and they're actually pretty cool. So these are the most technical macros I've created so far. One of them is to run my trading view about 11 times. So it opens up 11 tabs on trading view. And then this macro is to actually go in and type the tickers for all of those 11 charts that I open up. So let's demonstrate those right now. So I've got no windows opened up right now. It's a blank screen. I'm going to press one hotkey and it's going to start opening up some windows. And again, my hands are here, I'm not doing anything, eh? So it opened up about 11 charts here on my trading view. At this point, I want to have all my tabs renamed because generally I watch the same six to 10 tickers every single day. And I don't wanna have to go in and start typing every single time, Spy, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon. So I created a macro that will do it for me. So very simple, one keystroke, here we go. Spy, Apple. Microsoft, Amazon. So you get the idea, right? So it's actually going in and typing in the selected ticker and switching the tab and then doing it on the next ticker. So I programmed it to type in all of the tickers that I generally watch on a regular basis, right? And that is pretty much it. So I was able to program that with some very simple commands here. And actually what you can do is you can actually use the record function to record your own keystrokes. So what you do is you press on record and then you're gonna to have to press F9 and then it will start recording your keystroke. So at that point you can click on the chart, start typing, switch tab, start typing, switch tab, start typing. And it basically will record that keystroke and that's how I managed to program this macro to put in all of those charts. So that right there is gonna save me at least a few minutes every single day. Now I should put in a macro to close all these tabs. <laughs> but yeah, so generally every morning, that's part of my routine. So I just created a macro to make that much quicker. So guys, I recommend this software here. It's very useful, again, to bring up option chains, to bring up various kinds of data, to make things quicker. All right guys, so that's how macros can benefit your trading routine. I hope you enjoyed the video today and I wish you all the best and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.